So I met my wife uh, at a country music bar. Got a chance to kind of introduce myself, and she was very uh, open uh, and out front with me. And uh, before she left for that night, she just said, hey, I want you to know, I'm a divorced mother of two, so if I never see you again, I completely understand. And with that, she got in her car and she drove away, and here's this college kid kind of trying to wrestle with all this, like, okay, I never saw that coming. Is this something I want to pursue? It, it, can, I, can I just walk away simply because she told me a couple things about herself that, that I didn't expect? What, what do I do with that? Through some friends, I got her address. I walked over to her house the next morning, knocked on her door, didn't, uh, didn't have her number, didn't, uh, wasn't able to, to tell her I was coming, knocked on her door, and uh, she opened the door kind of like, okay, what are you doing here? How did you get my address? You know, who are you? Are you stalking me? And for me, it was just, I, I told her I just, I just wanted to meet her kids. I wanted to explore all of this, and her son, Zachary, at the time, uh, grabbed my hand and, and pulled me into the bathroom, and as much as I don't like country music, flipped on a radio uh, with some country music, and we sat on the floor in the bathroom uh, and just kind of enjoyed a moment together, and it was in that moment where I said, this is, this is different, it's unique, I don't know if I know how to handle this, but all right, I, I gotta give this a shot. We laughed that uh, it was really the kids that brought us together. It was a connection that, uh, that I had with Zachary. And the way that I fell in love, you know, we always joke in our house that I fell in love with the kids first. And the connection there, uh, me seeing her as a mother, uh, her seeing me in that role, stepping in and embracing the kids was, uh, was really what, what connected us in a, in a really special way. And so a long five years later, we ended up getting married it was a crazy love story because it was so different than anything I would have expected. And I'm fortunate that from the time that we met until now, I get to wake up um, every day with my best friend. I get to wake up with the person that really helped me to dive into my faith journey in a different way. So I grew up in the church, went to a Catholic school all growing up. My mom was making sure that we went to church every Sunday. I understood the stories. I understood, uh, you know, Jesus and, and how all of that worked. But it was never really personal for me until after uh, I met my wife. When we were going out or, or when we were spending time together, it was either us making out or us talking about Jesus. It was one of those two things. I wanted more of the making out. She wanted to talk more about Jesus. She challenged me uh, early and often in our relationship about what I believed and why I believed it. I think before that, I always felt faith was kind of, well, God was out there and whenever I needed him, he was like my, my spare tire, that when I get a flat, uh, I'll go and pop the trunk and, and pull out the spare and God, you know, I, I need this. But you dive into the Bible and you actually start reading the Bible for the first time in that kind of context and you start to realize, oh shoot, I had this mixed up, that, uh, that God's not just here for me, that the goal is that I'm here for Him. I'm here to give my life for Him as, as Jesus did for me. And it started to become real. I started to understand and take a different perspective on what life was all about. And it took some, some, some crazy moments to, to really understand that. And uh, you know, one of those moments was when her parents were you know, tragically killed in a tornado. I remember how you know, she didn't have all the answers. She was, uh, she was angry uh, and she was willing to, to call out to God and, and ask God why and, and yell and scream, uh, but never lose her faith. It was never one of those things where, oh, God, you allowed this to happen to us, so now I'm gonna walk away from you. That's what a relationship is to me. It's about being able to, uh, you know, to disagree in moments, to be angry in moments, but not allow that to stop the relationship. And to me, that was when I kind of stepped back and go, everything that she's been talking to me about, this is what it looks like. This is what it's supposed to be. And it was in those moments where I came to realize, okay, I've never had that. And that's exactly what I want. Um, and it was at that time where I really committed my life uh, to Jesus. There were a number of moments in my life when uh, I felt like for whatever reason, people didn't believe in what I was capable of doing. The biggest low point was going from Green Bay Packer training camp. So I'm, I'm right there. I'm inches away from being able to accomplish what I've always dreamed of accomplishing. 
uh, get cut by Green Bay, and a couple weeks later find myself working in a grocery store at night, um, trying to figure out how do I chase my dream because there's no, there's no roadmap, uh, there's no path that's set out for those that are working in a grocery store to find themselves in the NFL. And as hard as those moments were, um, and as frustrating as they could be at times, I think the fortunate thing for me is, A, I had a great support system, but I never lost faith in, in who I was. There was always something internally that just said, you got this, you can do this. Even after, like when I was with the Rams, and won two MVPs and went to two Super Bowls in three years, and then two years later I'm cut by the team, and you just sit like, how in the world can this be happening? But I was very fortunate that, you know, that I never really lost faith in who I was. We look back now and we go, we're so grateful that God's plan was better than our plan. And even though we didn't see it for a long time, He's always there for me no matter what the circumstances are, no matter if it's the highs, the lows, the goods and the bads, that He's with me through all of it.